All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Definitely appreciate you guys watching. And uh, we're going to talk about situation awareness today. I want to talk about a couple of things that I want to express to you guys when it comes to that. Just waiting, waiting up here. If you're not aware, uh, from the moment that you start broadcasting to the moment that actually shows in, in the channel, it's about 20 second delay. So sometimes, sometimes it's kind of annoying because you have to, you kind of have to wait into a show and then you kind of have to mute the, uh, mute the video so you don't get, uh, any feedback. So that's why at the beginning typically is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of annoying. So again, want to talk about situational awareness with you guys for a little bit. I want to get you guys input, put comments down below as always drinking cup zero. They don't pay me. They should pay me. I give them advertising, but anyways, want to talk about that. But before we get into that, let me, let me tell you guys something recently. I've been having a lot of time, uh, or not a lot of time. Recently, I've been having some time where, uh, where I could, uh, uh, you know, make some comments. I mean, I'll make some videos. So, uh, as you guys know, Monday to uh, Monday to Fridays, I put videos in the channel, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time, and, and it's the videos that I typically do. You know, I stand in front of the front of the American flag, which, if you're looking at my little studio here, it's to the right, and I make those videos. Now, that's not going to stop. I really enjoy making those videos and they're easy to make. Now, the problem with those videos is that you cannot get that uh, uh, amount of comments. You know, you get amount of comments, but you cannot reply right there on the spot. And that's why I've been doing this one so up here because it gives me the opportunity to to read some of the comments. Like right now, uh, Samuel, uh, he's watching from Australia. Man, I really appreciate that. I heard you guys have some weird uh, gun control and some weird laws out there. Not weird, but you know, I, I heard that you guys can can have uh, guns like we can't have here in the U.S. So that's really uh, uh that sucks, man. Um, anyways, put comments down below. Let me know. But this type of videos give, gives me that this opportunity gives me the opportunity to talk to you guys, get some feedback, be able to answer some questions, and be able to talk and, and all that stuff. So uh, again, you know. Prime example here, uh, Billy is, is is telling me that you know he carries a Glock 17. Have you tried some of the P Mags? I have not. Um, but but again, you know, I, I seen some good reviews. I, I think the first one that came out were sucky, and uh, I know that there's some stuff to it, and it came out with a second generation. So, so do some research on that because you may have to. Uh, I mean, don't get the crappy ones that came out first. So again, th this is why I like this type of videos. Now, if you enjoy them, click like so I know that you like them. Uh, again, uh, you know, it kind of gives me the idea that you guys like this type of topics, this type of videos. And the guys that don't like it, hey, guys, it's simple. If you don't like a video, change. There's 710 videos in the channel or 720. Pick one of them. If you don't want to watch any of my videos, pick some, some something else. I mean, how many times have we watched a movie and we haven't liked it because of whatever reason? I mean, sometimes... Uh, sometimes you are not going to 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 like a video i mean it's okay i'm not going to get insulted so if you don't like this type of videos it's fine if you like him watch him if not i mean come on guys we we're big guys in here but again uh there we go again read some of the comments Cass is saying that the gen 1 p max has some fitting issues that's that's kind of what i got out of a, a lot of guys that did a bunch of reviews out there and uh yeah, definitely. God is in control. I love that. I got to tell you guys, God is so good. Today, I went to Pastor Mike's uh, church and, and Pastor Mike, which you guys know, um, uh, we've been making some videos. Pastor on call, um, man, he he brought it down. I mean, he it was powerful uh, what he was saying. So I'm close to Daytona Beach. So all the way down south here uh, for you guys out there. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. I wanted to talk about situational awareness because, and again, you you guys seeing the the point that I was trying to make on the video. So you guys ask questions, actually answer the questions because the reality is that the channel is getting kind of big. Uh, I think we just passed eighteen thousand four hundred and something, and the channel is picking up about anything from thirty to seventy to a hundred people a day. And sometimes I just cannot keep up with the comments. And I know some guys tell you well you know what uh, uh answer the comments but i, I legitimately spent an hour 
answering comments sometimes and between production answering comments and having a real life which is working for the families to pay bills because i got a wife kids i got dogs i got all that stuff just like you guys i mean sometimes i sometimes i'm stuck to my phone all day answering comments and again i really really enjoy it but again you know the the day only has 24 hours i mean uh, at one point you're gonna run out of uh out of uh time uh favorite gun sig or glock i don't own any sigs i want to um so i don't want to say glock i don't want to say sig because again six are, are great pistols i just don't own anyone so if i tell you glock and then two months later i'll buy a sig and be like oh yeah i mean i don't have anything to compare but i i know for a fact that six are more expensive and the reason why is because the quality is up there so I'm willing to say that six are better than Glocks. I don't know. I don't know if that's a, a good statement. Some of you guys will unsubscribe, but you know, I mean, the Sig PP26 or P226 is supposed to be a great gun. But again, I, I love my Glocks, so I, I don't even want to go into there. Uh, Springfield XDs. I've been trying to. Uh, uh, I've been trying to get an XD or SDS. I want to say nine mil, and uh, I, I just haven't get there. But but again. Oh, I heard good things about the XDs too. You know, read the comments, guys. So no, some of you guys uh, uh put great comments, and there's so many great guns out there. Sometimes I, I don't want to be like the fanboy, but sometimes it's kind of like, uh, I mean, it's so many good guns out there that that the kid here to survive a situation is going to be training. I mean, can you do the same thing with a Glock 17 that an MMP9? I mean, they're both both excellent guns. I mean, it's going to come down to you. How do you shoot? Can you really shoot your gun? I mean, that, that's what it comes down to. Uh, again, you know, and great comment from Cass, the best gun is the one that, that works for you. But I want to say MMP Shield, maybe I'm wrong. I think it was the MMP Shield. My wife, and I think I shared this with you guys one time, when my wife uh, was shooting the MMP Shield, couldn't hit the target. I mean, like, she was all over the target. And again, the MMP show is a great gun. You guys know that. And uh, she looked at me and she said, hey, look, I don't like this MMP show. I just don't like it. She took the Glock 19 and she made a little hole like this in the target. So again, it's not the fact that the MMP show sucks or the Glock. It was the fact that she could shoot the Glock 19 better than the shield. I mean, that's it. It worked better for her. It has nothing to do with... Uh, uh with 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 the gun you know they're both excellent guns i mean i obviously you know the the glock 19 is a little bit bigger gun and all that but at the distance that she was shooting uh i think it was just preference what she likes uh a little bit more but here's the deal again if you like this type of videos let me know you know so i can continue to do it if if people say again i i've been getting a lot of feedback saying people love it some people hate it so uh the majority of people like them so i'm going to continue to do them because like i said the majority of people uh like this type of video so what does situational awareness really means people talk about that all the time you know people say well make sure you have situational awareness you know make sure you have sa make sure you're paying attention to your surroundings but what are you paying attention to and i think i'm going to put a little timer here because if not i'm going to talk forever but what are you really paying attention to? I think that's, a, I mean, uh, of something that we could talk about because, again, people just don't really know what, what they're supposed to be looking for. So I want to address a couple of things um, so you guys know um, that some things that you should pay, pay attention to. So, again, understanding your surrounding, understanding your area, understanding where you're going. This is something that doesn't happen just uh this is something that that just doesn't happen i mean think about this where where do you go to do your basic shopping you know you go to walmart do you go to target do you go to a grocery you know whatever grocery store you go to um do you understand the route that you're going to take what is actually the street that you're going to be driving on what how does it actually look at nighttime you know when you rent a house this is something that probably every older not older but people typically know this when you rent a house and you go in the morning and you watch a house oh the house looks very pretty and blah 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 go and look at the house at nighttime 
because the night is going to bring a different factor to the house. You know, now your house is now wall lighter. There is no, there is no lights in the street, and and it's it just brings something else. So, again, where where are you? Uh, you, you know, where are you going to? What's what's your area? What streets are you going to be driving on? What's the uh, uh you know Walmart parking lot looks at two o'clock in the morning? If you ever find yourself in that situation and you start understanding situation and awareness, I mean, you got to understand that it's not just looking. I mean, you're looking for specific things. You know, do you want to go to Walmart at two o'clock in the morning? Maybe not a good idea. Why not? I mean, again. If you live in an area where you always see police officer or, or the parking lot is well lighted so you can park in the front, uh, you always see employees, that may be a little bit different. But if you live in an area where Walmart looks like a zombie town, you may not want to go there. Or again, if you go there, you may want to bring your husband. You may want to bring your wife. You may want to bring somebody else. Or you want to make sure that, you know what, today I'm not going out with my Glock 42. Today, I'm going to bring my Glock 19 because, again, the place that I'm going to may require something else. And some people say, well, if, if it requires something else, don't go there. I totally agree with that. But if you're going to go there, if you have no other uh, uh, place then to go, I mean, all the choice to go, bring something uh, bigger. You know, back in the back a while ago, my mom used to live in a really um, – I wouldn't say a horrible place, but it was a bad place. It was in, it was in, uh, it was in a nice place. And you know, I'm a, I tell some of you guys, I'm a regular dude. You know, I'm not rich. I'm not anything. You know, I serve in the Marine Corps. I got retired. I mean, I work. I'm I'm just an average dude. And uh, and my mom used to live in a place that wasn't that good. So every time I went there, I kind of made sure I brought a, a little bit more of firepower. You know, and I'm going to bring my Glock 17. I'm going to put it in the car or I'm going to bring something else. Again, some people may say, hey, you know what? You're crazy. What do you mean you're bringing another gun? You're crazy. You're not crazy. You're just bringing extra protection in case something happened. The same thing when I used to come uh, from North Carolina down here. I'll bring my, my, my rifle. Because what's going to happen if something happened down here and, and I find myself in a situation where I'm 800 miles away from my house? And I don't have my rifle. I bring my rifle. You know what, guys? Better safe than sorry. How long did it took for Ferguson, uh, Ferguson, and and uh, what's the other one? Maryland. Oh, uh, those riots. How long did it took for those riots to start? It, it was in, it was in fast. I mean, it wasn't like a three week thing. One day the town is okay, and the next day the town is like in total chaos. You know, people in the street trying to defend their life, business getting burned down. I mean, it was it, it's kind of like a hurricane. You barely have any notice. So understanding your uh understanding your give me a quick second here, guys. Uh okay, so understanding your uh area you need to understand your area you need to make sure that you uh uh you know where you're going you need to make sure you know sometimes we we spend the whole day watching cnn but are you actually listen to the local news what's going on around your area because it's, it's good for me to know what happened in california you know it kind of gives me uh, aware uh, awareness it brings awareness to what's going on but if i don't know what happened in daytona beach i mean i'm i'm close to that i need to know what's going on there so again, what if it, what if you if you have to, if, if you haven't you know if you have to go to a place you never been there, well a, again you know it, it's gonna come down to basic common sense. Where are you going to? I mean, if I'm gonna go to a really bad town in a really place that typically you know the bad places, and you have no choice, I may not bring my uh, my Glock 42. And again, my Glock 42 is having some issues. So uh, some of you guys been asking about that. I still got to call Glock, but. Am I saying that you have to dress up, you know, combat ready, fly jacket, helmet? No, I'm not saying that. But if you have to go to a place that you, you I, I give you an example. Back in the days when I used to live in Miami, right? Back in Miami time, uh, there were some neighborhoods that were really, really bad. So if I had to drive for whatever reason in that neighborhood, it was times where cars, vehicles, uh, a vehicle would come, would stop, 
kind of make you stop because you you know you behind that vehicle. So that first vehicle will stop, and the moment that you stop thinking what's going on, you know this vehicle in front of me stops, so it's blocking traffic. Two guys will come out of there with guns and take your money, take everything. A lot of times it was one guy in the front, one guy in the back. So it kind of did one of those things where they kind of uh, sandwich kind of thing on you, get down, take your stuff with guns. I mean, people could get shot, people die and stuff like that. So if I'm driving through there, do I want it? I mean, obviously, first thing will be like trying not to drive through there. But if I have no choice for whatever reason, do I want to bring my Glock 42? Maybe not. Maybe I want to bring something a little bit better. You know, a lot of people nowadays are changing. A lot of people are bringing, uh, uh, carrying Glock, you know, big Glock 19s, uh, double stock guns that carry like 10 plus because of the simple fact that a lot of, uh, a lot of active shooter situation, a lot of people are walking away from pocket carrying and, and starting to seriously making sure they carry a gun and they carry a spare magazine based on the fact that there's a lot of things going on and, and that's good on them. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just good. So you got to understand your area. You got, you have to understand that area where you live, where you reside, where you go and do groceries, where you take your kids to school. Um, you know, the routes that you take, uh, I mean, guys think about this as you're driving tomorrow to go to work, just look around. Maybe you want to identify points where you say, hey, you know, if I'm a bad guy, I probably do something in this location. So you want to be a little bit more uh, uh, careful, uh, careful in that location. Sometimes if you think like a bad guy, you'd be surprised the amount of information that you get just thinking like a bad guy. You know, if I'm a bad guy, what can I do uh, to do this? So. uh cody uh simple thing when you walk out of a building what do you do well you could walk to the door and stay there and listen and watch for 30 seconds you know i'll tell people this home defense situation something happened people think that the first thing they have to do is like jump out of the bed and you know grab the ar and all that stuff and definitely you got to grab your rifle first thing you do or got to grab your home defense firearm but listening go a, wrong, uh, a long way Sometimes you could walk to that front door and obviously you could just stop, look, and uh, and listen. If you start, if you stop and you see a bunch of people, obviously you're inside a building, you may see some other people there and, and you start seeing a bunch of people out there that they don't look too fine. And I'm going to talk about profiling in about a second. Uh, maybe you want to wait or maybe you want to walk away, walk out uh, with somebody that is, that works for you. So now you have two people. Something happened to you, that second person could call the police. Or maybe if you pocket carry, or maybe if you have a, a gun in your backpack, uh, because a lot of people work, they don't want to uh, they don't want to print. Maybe you have that gun inside, uh, you know, very, very close to you in case something happened. You know, some people do as far as pre-dialing 911. Some people pre-dial that and they have it on the phone, ready to dial. So, but I think the first thing will be just just you know walk to the front door or wherever you're going to and, and, and watch and listen see what's going on out there before you take that step uh step outside because again your building is your safe heaven you you, you I'm, I'm assuming that you a little bit more safe there because again you have you have concealment you have cover and things like that the moment you step out you open in an open area and again obviously you know carrying a gun carrying a gun goes a long way guys carrying a gun makes the the force i wouldn't say level but it, it gives you a chance that's why i tell people to carry a gun you walked out and there's three guys now you have a chance before you didn't you versus three guy you didn't have a chance but now you have a chance and again you know if you're an old lady and you face a guy that is 40 years old and uh you know you're 70 years old old lady now you have a chance before you didn't have a chance you have some type of disability you know there's a lot of guys that watch the channel that you know unfortunately they're in a wheelchair and, and again you know somebody's uh, a criminal may target them because they have a disability or something like that maybe you have a cane any type of disability you can't walk uh because you're in crunches or whatever now you have a chance because you have that gun you see that gun gives you a chance to survive a situation that's why it's so critical so again, uh, you know, we're gonna go back to uh, what Brandy was talking about it uh, about, but 
identifying the thread. When you identify a thread, and I already talk about, you know, a guy versus a girl and things like that. But uh, when you identify a thread, one of the things that people do, and they used to teach us a while ago, and, and I don't know if they teach it anymore because nowadays, guys, I got to tell you, you got to be political, uh, political correct. You know, you profile somebody and how dare you, you know, how dare you profile this guy? You know, this guy looks like a criminal, hangs around with criminals, do what criminals do. But how dare you profile? How dare you think this guy is a criminal? Well, when you hang around with criminals, you must be a criminal, buddy. I mean, that's just how it is. Non-criminals don't hang around criminals. I don't hang around with guys that commit crimes. Or, or do things like that because I'm not one of them. I mean, it's just how it is. You hang around with the type of people that that, that you are. <laughs> I mean, it's simple. Let's not get so, uh, you know, so politically correct or whatever. But, and of course, I clear my, uh, the time that I had here. But here's the deal. Profiling. Is profiling okay? And I'm not talking about being racist. I'm not talking about things like that. I'm just saying like profiling. An individual is it okay to do that in some situation it may be okay you know we learn things in the military that if you, if your vehicle had those things like profiling a car you were possibly a car bomb if your car looked like a low rider in iraq or afghanistan that's because you had a lot of stuff in the back you probably were carrying a bomb so again profiling is not a bad thing so Again, I'm not saying be racist about it, but profiling is not a bad thing. If somebody looks like a criminal, there is a high chance that he's a criminal. So, I mean, it is what it is. You know, some people could get insult about, insulted about that all the time, but it is what it is. If you look like a convict that just came out of jail, uh, I mean, it is what it is. So, again, profile. You know what? And if you profile somebody and you say, well, this, this is not looking good, uh, then start taking those, those uh, uh, whatever you have to do to survive. I mean, again, surviving a situation or awareness is, is trying to identify things so you know something's going to happen, so you walk away from that. You want to walk away. The best way to win a firefight is not to be in a firefight. You don't want to be in one. I mean, trust me, those things are, uh, I mean, those things are not good. So how is the person, you know, and again, when it comes to profiling, how does uh, uh, Jerry's made a good point? How does the person stands? What's his body language? What kind of clothes is he wearing? You know, if he's wearing clothes that he may be able to conceal a gun, things like that, or maybe he's hiding a weapon. I mean, there's a lot of things uh, when it comes to, to profile. So think about those things. Again, don't be racist about it. Just be, try to, to identify a threat before it happened and you know what there's some places that you should go and some places that you shouldn't go i mean again we talk about this in a while i kind of have a, a a list up here kind of talk about some of those things so i don't forget but uh places to go and places that you shouldn't go we talked about doing groceries but hey what about parking lots you know if you go to a parking lot in, in walmart Maybe you want to park to the front. Maybe you want to wait another minute so you could get a parking space in the front because, again, criminals may hang around in the back. Uh, rest areas. Rest areas are really bad. You know, don't don't be in a rest area. I mean, there is a million places you guys can put comments down below, which it may not be a good idea for you to be there. I mean, it's just not. So if you have to go, maybe you should bring somebody with you. Maybe you should bring a, a better gun or I say a better gun, but, you know, maybe something that offers more capacity. Maybe you should bring a flashlight. Don't forget that flashlight. Maybe you should be prepared to face that type of situation. Maybe you should have somebody with you. Again, I keep saying this. Maybe you should, hey, call a buddy. Hey, man, you want to go with me on this? Or maybe try to, uh, uh, you know, I'll talk about this to my wife all the time. I'm saying, do we really need something? Do we really need it? I mean, there is so many ones that we want. But do we really need this? And is the answer is no? Or do, do we really need it at this point? Do we really need to stop at Walmart at 2 o'clock in the morning to pick out milk if we have a little bit of milk, milk in the house? Maybe we don't. Maybe we should stop about it. You know, we should go there tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. And again, you know, obviously you've seen some active shooter situation that happened in the morning time. But again, 
Uh, we're just trying to increase the survive the, the chances of survival. That's what you're doing, guys. You're just increasing, increasing ch uh, chances of, of survival. That's it. I mean, something happened. When the time comes, the time comes. You can't do nothing about it. So, you know, another thing that I used to do a lot in the military. Some of the military guys would tell you this: tell somebody where you're going. I mean, that's, that's just simple. So, the point of this, guys, when it comes to situational awareness. And again, I'm just giving you a couple of points here. There is so much. You could probably take a class in this that would take days, you know. And again, situational awareness, uh, you're going to develop. It's a skill. You're going to develop the skill as you go. When you walk into a place and you have that feeling that, hey, this is not right. Maybe I shouldn't sit here. Maybe I should sit there because from here I could see this. Uh, you know, I see those three, four guys there looking at me. Maybe, maybe, it's, not, maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe I need to walk away from this place because this is not a good idea. So increasing your survival awareness is a skill. You have to work on that skill. But one thing that I want to let you guys, don't let it overcome your life neither. You know, I we talk about this a lot. Uh, you know, we talk about watching, you know, watch your sex and things like that a lot. But guys, my biggest thing that I that I say here in the in the channel, and uh you know, I try to keep this channel very, very like to the to the regular person. You know, I I I got a binder of of, of of training that is like this big. I mean, I I spent eleven and a half years in the Marine Corps. I I went to to schools from you know protecting people. I did missions, patrols. I mean, I did a lot of stuff, but I don't try to I don't try to display that in the channel because to me is I'm just a regular dude trying to survive. So I'm not trying to teach anybody like military tactics or how to do a patrol or how to stop, a, a, you know, how to do a security patrol, a presence patrol, or, or how to run a convoy, how to run security missions, or how to protect a, a principal, or, you know, protecting generals and stuff like that. You learn, you learn a lot of things. I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to do that at all. At all. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to to learn and again, you know, learn the basic things or, or talk about the basic things that you will face as a regular civilian. You know, and there's a lot of guys, uh, there's a lot of guys that um, um, in, in the community that tells you, oh, you, you know, you have to carry this, this and this and this and this and this. But the majority of people don't carry those things. The majority of people just carry a basic gun or the majority of people get annoying. You know, I see people. Oh, you know, my uh, my EDC is like a Glock 17 and a Glock 19. And I'm like, holy man, you know, I think you're OK with a Glock 19. But if you want to carry two is good. Good on you. But some of those instructors make people feel like if you don't do this, you're wrong because we know. And, 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 you know, I was having a conversation with little brother. I think it was yesterday. Yeah. And I was telling him when you see an instructor that start telling you this is the only way walk away from that because there's always different ways to accomplish a mission always but some of these people are like hey this is the only way so okay man so again you're right 5150 is no x marine <laughs> but uh um so again try to uh, um what I, my point to this was i kind of lost my point but um Try to make whatever you do part of your life. You increase your situational awareness, but you make your response to that. I mean, again, situational awareness, you know what you're looking for. And now you're making whatever you're going to do to defend your life part of your life. When you get up and you pick up your phone, you pick up your Glock 43 or your MMP shield, your XD. But that is the gun that you carry. That's the gun that you train with. That's what you're going to carry 100 percent of the time and that's what you're going to fight for when you go to the range train with that pistol don't take your beautiful 1911 and just shoot that gun because technically oh you know you're not going to be carrying that gun so my phone is many many texas so again don't don't go crazy over over that gun i mean it's fun to go shooting it's fun to do all those things but train train with what you got Train with, you know, with, with whatever, whatever you have, I mean, whatever you're going to carry a hundred percent, I'm sorry about that. I kind of went off the topic, but whatever you're going to carry a hundred percent train with that, make it part of your life. 
you know, when you go to church, when you go out to, to Walmart, when you do whatever, that is part of your life. It gets to the point where you you get up and you put your pistol in your in your pocket and you're three o'clock, one o'clock, whatever. Just like picking up your keys, just like picking up your uh uh your cell phone. I mean, it's fun to have a bunch of guns, but whatever it is your carry gun, carry gun is a big deal. Carry that a hundred percent of the time, increase your skill or situational awareness so you know what you're looking for. You know. As a police officer, you learn to look at people's hands. So when you address a person, you automatically look at his hands because you're going to see where, where his hands. Does he have his hands in his pocket? Does he have it close to his waist? What is he trying to do? Is he going to bring him up to like fight you? What is he doing with your hands? So you keep that in mind, you know. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of things. So continue to increase your situational awareness. Kind of do some research out there and find out what you're looking for. You know, what are you really looking on a person? Uh, you know, I had a conversation the other day. Oh, I think it was yesterday when I was talking to one of you guys. And uh, he said one of the things that uh, one of the things that uh, he does with his wife is that he tells his wife to go to the bathroom. And his, his, his mindset is that the bathroom has one entry. So if somebody comes in that in through that door, she could easily engage that entry and defend that position, which it makes sense. Makes sense. You know, you have one entry, you could defend that position. But to me, it's kind of like in something to think about it. Not to say he wasn't wrong or right. It's just something to think about is that you always want to have an evacuation plan. You always want to have some place to go out. So again, if you have another door, that means that you have to defend another place. I totally get that. But you want to have a way out because Active shooter situations we have seen in the past, guys have AKs, guys have ARs, and when it comes to an AK and an AR versus a Glock 19, I believe that's what she was carrying, there is no match. I mean, two guys with an AR-15 will come inside that bathroom and kill you uh, if they are well-trained because they have more firepower. That's it. Whoever can shoot more bullets downrange is going to win. So something to think about you know what maybe i want to defend one area but i need to have a plan because the best way to win the fight is walking away from it remember that guys you walk away from that fight and you're going to stay alive i mean that's just it is what it is you know so something to think about and again it doesn't mean this wrong is right it, it it just mean uh it just means something to think about you know hey if I go inside this room and I'm trying to defend this position, you got to be thinking in the back of my mind, what's my evacuation plan? How am I going to get out of here? So hear my dog barking. <laughs> All right, guys. So again, I appreciate you guys watching. Check out the comments. Put comments down below. I really appreciate the comments. If you like this type of videos, click like. Again, find out some information about situational awareness. Start training. Start doing research. I mean, here, this video, it... it this is just me share some some opinion, sharing some information uh, with you guys, some of my opinions of what I think. But if you want to improve your skills, you need to go out there, either take some training, listen to some videos, and do stuff to increase your skills. Only you could increase your skills. I mean, it, it is what it is. And if you find a person that tells you, hey, you know what, I'm the best at this, you probably should walk away from that person because... I don't know. I just never had any good uh, uh, relationship with guys that think that way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just it is what it is. Again, I, 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 I continue to learn. I continue to increase my skills. So let me know what you think. I think I'm about to sign off because my dogs are about, about to start barking. I should put my dogs in camera. I haven't done that. If you've been in the, in the channel for a long time, you guys used to see my dogs in the background uh, all the time. So, Scott. Uh, Welcome, man. I appreciate you watching. Uh, RLS303, thank you so much. Your support since day one has been great. So, But anyways, I'm going to sign out because you guys hear my dog barking. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to this channel. And God is in control.